Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Tanika Chalam and Ms. Smita Dhakar from India. And in this problem we have a rectangular paper which is folded along its diagonal to make two overlapping triangles. Area of the resulting concave pentagon is 11 16th of the area of the rectangle and we have to find the ratio between length and width of the rectangle. So suppose this is the paper whose length is L and width or breadth I am denoting as small b and then we have to fold it along with the diagonal right. So let me just turn it like this and then let us fold it like this. So here we have a pentagon A, B, D, C, E which is a concave pentagon because diagonal AC is outside the pentagon and here we have two overlapping triangles. When we fold the paper we will have this much part of the triangle A, B, D and C, B, D overlapping each other and we have to find the ratio between length and breadth. So the area of this rectangle can be given as length multiplied by breadth and the area of this pentagon is 11 16th of the area of the rectangle right and when we see this pentagon properly here we have two triangles triangle ABE and triangle ECD. Here this side is equal to this side both of them are equal to the breadth of the rectangle and this is 90 degrees which is given to us because these two angles are 90 degrees and this angle is equal to this angle vertically opposite angles and that is why the remaining angles will also be equal so this angle will be equal to this angle right so you can say triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CDE and here it is given that the area of this pentagon is 11 16th of the area of the rectangle that means the area of pentagon ABDCE which is actually equal to the area of rectangle ABCD minus the area of triangle EBD because the portion of the rectangle which is exactly below the triangle EBD is not getting counted in the area of the pentagon right because we can't see it or you can say area of triangle EB D is equal to area of rectangle ABCD minus the area of pentagon ABDCE. So this will be equal to LB minus this is equal to 11 16th of LB. So the area of that triangle will be equal to 5 16th of LB. And recently we have proved that these two triangles, triangles ABE and triangle CDE are congruent. So their areas will also be equal or you can say two times the area of triangle ABE will be equal to the area of pentagon ABDCE minus the area of triangle EBD. So this will be equal to 11 16th LB minus 5 16th LB that is equal to 6 over 16 LB or you can say area of triangle ABE which is equal to area of triangle CDE this will be equal to 3 16th of LB right and this can also be written as half multiplied by CD which is equal to B multiplied by EC or from here you can say EC is equal to 6 16th of L right. So this much is 6 16th of L and then the remaining BE will be equal to L minus 6 divided by 16 of L or it will be 10 16th of L and BE is equal to ED because these two triangles are congruent. So now we can find the length CD which is equal to B or the breadth of this original rectangle is equal to square root of 10 divided by 16 L whole square minus 6 divided by 16 L whole square which will be equal to 8 divided by 16 L or 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16 half of L. So B is equal to half of L or you can say ratio between length and breadth is equal to 2 is to 1. Length is actually double the breadth of the rectangle. So that's all for this video. 
and it was a very interesting problem so thank you mr tanika chalam and smita for sending this problem to me and if you also have an interesting problem which you want to share with us you can share your problem at the number shown on the screen and for many many more interesting videos keep watching math smart subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos so bye bye till then